Christmas present that I purchased. What is it? What is it? Oh, let's just find out. One sec. Did the first muscle up with no bands. Hello, hello, hello. It's your boy again, Alex the Vegan. About to show you guys what I'm doing today. I'm gonna be doing a gluten-free full day of eating. Uh, reason why I'm doing the gluten-free is because lately I've just been feeling kind of weird in terms of digestion. So I'm gonna try something different. I was watching Goji Man's video. He was talking about gluten. So I'm trying to cut it out, not permanently, because you know, I love bread. I love bread. I know there's gluten-free breads, but I do still love bread. And uh, I'm just gonna do a little experiment here. So I'm gonna try to cut out gluten. Yesterday was fully gluten-free. I didn't film it. I was at work and then I ate out after, um, gluten-free of course. But today we're gonna keep it going. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Here's the first meal that I'm gonna be making right now. That's actually already made, so I'm gonna show you it. Oh, but but real quick before we get into that, yesterday was Friday night, um, December 28th, and I did hack squat at 350 pounds for two times. That is a max for me, never done that, so super stoked about that. After doing those squats, I was feeling really good. Uh, I did 350 for two, then I did 300 10 times, and I just kinda kept lowering the weight and just kept going. We did about five to six sets, me and Tyler, and I was feeling so good that I went right to that uh, pull-up bar. And what do you know, first try, did a muscle up. I did not expect it at all, I just tried to pull up, and boom, it happened. Um, I didn't get a video of it, but then later on in that day, yesterday, I did try it again before we left the gym and I got another muscle up. It wasn't this clean, but I got it without the bands. So it's been about, what, two, three weeks with the rubber bandits. You guys have been here to uh, witness that. So it did not take very long. Started with the bands and then, boom, did the muscle up unassisted. So let's go. So I'm gonna show you the first meal I'm making right now. So here's the first meal. I got one cup of these uh, gluten-free sprouted quick oats. I put some peanut butter powder on there and then I also have a spoon, probably like, I I would say a tablespoon of this uh, white chocolate wonderful peanut butter. Super delicious. So gonna mix it all in there and this will be the first meal. And then I got some potatoes that um, I soaked in some water to get some of the starches off. Then I'm just gonna air fry those after, but I'm gonna wait a little bit for this to digest. So let's get it. So by doing a whole cup, I'm getting uh, pretty much 140 calories times three. So what's that? 300, four times three. So 420 calories. Then I got six grams of protein, which will be 18 grams at the three servings. 30% of your iron, that's pretty beast. A lot of carbs, not a lot of fat, obviously. Four grams of protein from the peanut butter powder. It's usually eight grams if you use two tablespoons. I only did one tablespoon because I knew I was gonna be putting this stuff in there. So, um, and then I probably did one spoon of this, which is half of that, and this is uh, six grams. So I would say four plus three, seven. So what, 18 plus seven? That's 26 grams of protein, I believe, no? 25 grams of protein? Yeah, my math is off. Yeah, so 25 grams of protein. Real quick, easy meal. About to slam this down. It's also gluten free, so uh, let's get it. Welcome back, guys. So, finished up those oats a little bit ago, and I had to run to Ski Pro to rent some snowboard gear. Gonna be going snowboarding next week, so you guys stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Gonna be going to Flagstaff, uh, Arizona Snow Bowl, so you guys get to see that. It's about two and a half hours away from where I'm at right now in uh, Arizona. So, yeah, super excited to go snowboarding. Rented all the gear, got the hotel booked. Uh, all we gotta do now is just uh, get some snowboard pants and buy the lift tickets for the mountain. Other than that, we are good to go. So excited to go snowboarding and now we are gonna actually get right back into the food so gonna be making those uh, potatoes gonna put them in the air fryer spice them up a little bit I'll show you guys that so let's get into the potatoes all right so just gonna weigh these out there's not a lot so I just kind of want to see exactly how much I'm eating so 166 grams of potatoes not a lot but let's get it I'm gonna spray some avocado oil on here then I put some salt black pepper some paprika probably a little bit of cayenne and then that should be good there's the avocado oil I'm using super simple one ingredient there ingredient avocado oil Nice and simple. So, give these just a little bit of a spray. Shake them up, toss them up. Turn that off. Don't need you anymore. Appreciate you though. Look at this nice little fruit bowl right here. Oh, got some pomelos. Some pineapple. All right, first things first, got a little cayenne. I just tried to focus clicking on that, oh my goodness. Some cayenne, not a lot because it's very spicy. Got the paprika. Ah, that kind of put as much as I want. All right, and then last things last. I already put the salt on there if you're wondering. I'm gonna put some black pepper now. Can't really do this one with one hand, so gotta put the camera down. All right, and there's the final product. Well, not the final product, but about to put these in the air fryer. But that is how they look like, all spiced up, evenly coated, and we are putting them in the air fryer for probably about uh, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, at uh, 350 to 370. Gonna kinda decide as we go. Should probably plug this in. There we go, all we gotta do is let them sit. Probably five, six minutes in, I'll uh, take them out, shake them around a little bit, and then good, good to go. 370, 15 minutes, should be good. So while I wait for those potatoes, I'm pretty hungry. All I've had was those oats, and then I had to go rent all the snowboard gear. So gonna have a, a macro bar, gluten-free, obviously. This is perfect, quick 270 calories. Let's get it. About the halfway point, take a look. 
You can hear that. Shake them up a little bit. Honestly, they look like they're done, but right back in they go. I love the air fryer so much, it's so convenient. Way better than turning on an oven for just 160 grams of potatoes or anything that's like little. I mean, usually you always have to turn on the oven. I guess a lot of people have those toaster ovens which are smaller, but still, even that I feel like takes longer than the air fryer. So air fryer is a plus in my book. Love the air fryer, super convenient. I'll put the link down below for the one I got. I think it was like $75 US on Amazon and it's on Prime. So it'll get there in like two days if you guys have Prime. So yeah, I'll, I'll link that down below so you guys can check that out. I didn't know my, my eyebrows acting up. I didn't. I didn't wash up very well this morning, guys, to be honest. Saturdays are just like my total chill day, but today we're eating gluten-free, so you guys get to experience that. And, and I get to experience that too. I didn't eat a lot yesterday, so it wasn't like a very well-planned gluten-free day. It's just I've not been feeling that good when I eat gluten, having some digestive issues. Not really sure why, not sure what I was eating around that Christmas time that created that. I didn't eat anything that was like crazy processed, so not sure what's going on. But um, yeah, um, watch Goji Man's video, like I said earlier, and cutting gluten just for a little bit to experiment. So yeah, can't wait to get into those potatoes though. They sound super delicious. Don't think I'm gonna make a sauce, just gonna eat them how they are. So yeah, see you when I'm gonna be eating these potatoes, AKA fries, AKA chips. So there's the potatoes, 166 grams. See, it was not a lot, but only 160 calories. So not that great. We need to get a lot of calories in still. It's a 1 p.m. right now, so. All right, that's a Drake, relax real quick, okay? I'm trying to do some, some nutrient breakdowns here. Just kidding, we're not doing nutrients, just the macros. So yeah, 4.4 grams of protein. I can't really wait any longer, seriously. I think those are done. All right, there's the final product. Some potatoes, so obviously you gotta do a taste test on these. All right, moment of truth, there it is. See if there's a little crisp to it. Not really, really hot. I'm gonna have to wait a second. I'm so hungry right now, I just wanna eat these, but man, everything's stopping me. The last fry, I literally devoured these things, man. And this is a song I made a couple years ago. I called it Lemonade. Comment down below if you guys like it or you wanna see more of the music stuff. Man, what's next on the menu? IDK, let me turn this down a little bit. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna be making next, but I'm still super hungry. That was like nothing right there. So that was literally like a little appetizer. So, so let's get into the next meal. I'm thinking I wanna do like avocado toast, but obviously no toast um, on these uh, rice crackers, these wild rice. Um, what are they called? Wild rice cakes. So I'm thinking about that, but that just doesn't sound that good. I, I want something that's more satiating. So let's go find some satiating food. Let's get it. it Seem like I'm so prepared for this challenge, but <laughs> I'm not, but I got some, uh, hummus, some cucumbers, and these uh, crackers right here. Gluten-free, of course. I bought these a while ago. Clean ingredients, no oil, like that. Look at that, oh. Oh yeah, some nice ingredients there, guys. So let's get into it. So that's what the cracker looks like. Black seaweed sesame cracker. Good stuff, do a little dip here. one-handed stuff is not gonna work. Yeah. Bite the bite, eh? Lighting is so weird, I don't know why, but yeah, here we go, here's the bite. That's good. Listen to some Daft Punk. Just running through my iTunes right now, listen to all the oldies. All right, here's the cucumber. Cold. Cucumber and hummus go so well together. All right, what's going on guys? So get ready to get back in the kitchen, about to make the other meal right now. So I'm gonna do some quinoa and some chickpeas, gonna spice it all up and then make a little avocado, onion, tomato, salsa. Already got the chickpeas sitting out. These are actually uh, raw chickpeas, better than using canned in my opinion. I was on the canned game, but trying to get off that canned game. So using raw beans, um, soak them for 12 hours and then cook them in boiling hot water for at least an hour and then strain them, put them in a glass Tupperware and put them in the freezer. You can always use them whenever you want, pull them right back out let them thaw and that's what they're doing right now they're thawing so I got the quinoa about to rinse that and then gonna cook it all together add some spices add the avocado tomato onion gonna be really delicious so let's get into that let's go grocery store real quick uh, was short of bananas I'm gonna be making a smoothie later so I'm not gonna be making a smoothie with these but um, I needed some bananas anyway got some more of that mushroom coffee because it's delicious and you know goji man was saying you want to get some uh, sauerkraut so got some sauerkraut and it's got some beets, carrots, uh, Himalayan salt, cabbage, caraway. I do not know what that is, but yeah. So got that. It was on sale as well. 
and now I'm just uh, about to drive home. So yeah, little food haul. Oh yeah, I guess the most important part. Man, this better be gluten free. I didn't look. I'm sure it is, but got this Rebel Vanilla Spice Protein Herb Powered Coconut Milk Elixir. Let's look at these ingredients. Pretty nice. Coconut milk with that organic plant protein blend, pea protein, sunflower protein, pumpkin protein. Organic coconut sugar, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Organic cinnamon, vanilla extract, cardamom, ashwagandha, and then um, cinnamon, maca, pink salt, reishi, stevia. Cool. Organic. It was like four bucks, so it is what it is, but delicious. Needed a quick, uh, quick protein drink, so got that. So yeah, about to head home. Here's the quinoa that I'm using, straight from Costco, and it's a product of Bolivia, so. Yeah, clean. Cup of quinoa on here, and then I'm about to rinse it, stir it around for a little bit, let that water take out all those uh, anti-nutrients, and we're gonna, good to go. One cup quinoa, just about two cups of water, and I just stir it around until it comes to boil, and then I'm gonna cover it up and cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. So I got a little uh, boiling action going. Just gonna cover it up, let it sit, and you'll be able to tell when it's done, basically, when it starts to pretty much split open. That's when you know the quinoa is getting done. So yeah, we'll clean up. Already added the chickpeas in there, and they're also gonna cook along with it. Give it about 10, 15 minutes, and we should be good. And here is the final product, guys. Check it out, look at that. You can see how the quinoa just opens up. Chickpeas all up in there, about to spice it up. Had some leftover guac from uh, Christmas, so can't waste it, gotta put it on. And then uh, gonna add some more veggies on here. So there's the final product, a little overexposed. Got some purple carrots on there, the guacamole, that kimchi, or um, um, sauerkraut that I just got with the beets, and the quinoa and the chickpeas, sprinkled a little bit of salt and black pepper, and also the dulse for the iodine. All right, here we go. Sorry for the lighting, the light's behind me, so not very good, but I gotta try this uh, sauerkraut. First things first. That lighting does not make me happy. Maybe from here? No. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. What can I do for this? All right, one sec. Here we go. Yes, sir. Esh, get it. All right, here's the money bag right there. There it is. Got a little bit of everything on it. Wow. I gotta eat this uh, sauerkraut because I don't want it to get too hot and I feel like then the probiotics in it aren't, aren't gonna be as beneficial. Eating that rainbow. Feeling this Christmas music still. I know, I know. It's December 29th, but hey, this is what it is, all right? Let me live. I like this one more. Quinoa chickpeas and uh, guacamole or avocado I feel like is the best, best combination. I'm gonna sit down to eat this, so see you guys in a little bit. Just smashed out this cookie, gluten-free, uh, coconut bliss, pretty clean ingredients. A lot of fat though, 20 grams, but I just split it with my boy, so be Gucci. A real quick snack right here, got that white chocolate wonderful peanut butter on some wild rice cake, so let's get it. Oh, there's no lighting. There we go. Yeah, that looks delicious. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was super easy and super simple to do the gluten-free thing. I hope you guys found some value in that. Uh, I'm definitely learning as I go on, but yeah, those meals were super delicious. Very simple to make, very quick. The oats were very good. The air fried potatoes were super delicious and also had that uh, quinoa avocado kimchi, or sorry, uh, quinoa avocado sauerkraut. That was by far my favorite meal. I'm gonna have some more of that tomorrow. I do have leftovers. That sauerkraut is fire. Make sure to incorporate some uh, sauerkraut into your life. I was always just taking probiotics but now I'm gonna definitely start eating more uh, fermented foods. I was eating pickles and stuff, but like never sauerkraut or kimchi. So definitely gonna include more of that into my diet. Very delicious. And uh, the video's not quite done yet. I'm gonna show you guys my first muscle up that was unassisted. I told you guys that you'd be there for it when I do my first muscle up unassisted. Super excited about that. And I was super excited about the 350 on the hack squat for two times. That's something new. I'm gonna try to keep increasing the weight. I'm gonna try to incorporate more workout stuff into the, into the videos, but it's kind of hard because you can't really film at LA Fit fitness, but it's all good. Um, I can use my phone whenever I need to, so no big deal on that part. But yeah, I'm uh, going to show you the muscle up and also going to show you what I got. In the very beginning of the video, I told you I was unboxing something very special, very excited about it. It's a present I bought myself. Did the first muscle up with no bands. I'm going to try this shit again right now. My music's not even working because uh, it's recording, but let's get this shit. Oh, 
thing's heavy. Oh man. Yes, sir. I'm not a reader, but yeah, it came with a whole book. Introduction to high performance blending. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the Vitamix white to match the KitchenAid. Yes, sir. So excited that I got that Vitamix. I'm so excited that I got my first muscle up. So much more content to come with that Vitamix. Going to be making plant milks. Going to be making a bunch of stuff with it. Smoothies and whatnot. It's a 64 ounce container. So it's a huge container. So super stoked about that. And I'm so stoked. There's going to be way more muscle ups coming. Only got one. So, so now the goal is to get a lot more muscle ups in a row. Obviously going to try to get 10 in a row. Not really that close. I can even get two. So it is what it is. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And once again, Again, I'll see you in the next one. Deduce.